Hi, I'm Vicki. And I'm Jim. And we're with the Bishop team. Today we want to share with you how it is to live in Nellie Gale Ranch. So we've lived here since 2006 and just thoroughly enjoyed it. Our kids were little, wanted a little bit more space for them so they could have uh, room to run around in the yard, yep. build a fort, play ball. Has been the best decision we ever made. We absolutely love our association, love our community love our home and we'd love to share it with you as well just the experience and what we feel in our community so yeah. come along and we're going to show you what it's like to be in Nelly Gale Ranch first thing is you don't have to know how to ride a horse good news for me <laughs> so Nelly Gale is kind of unique in that it's an equestrian neighborhood there's 1407 home sites on over 1400 acres and some of them are zoned for equestrian now, in order for it to be an equestrian home, because not all of them are, it needs to be a minimum lot size of 15,000 square feet. And for each 15,000 square feet you have, you're allowed one horse. Yep. And you also have to back to a horse trail in order for that home to qualify to be horse property. So within the community, there's over 20 miles of horse trails. Some of those trails go through yards as an easement. Some of them are maintained by the association and some are owned by the city. And not only are they good for horses, they're good for hiking too. So yep. that's a special treat that you get here in Nelly Gale. One of the cons of living in Nelly Gale on these bigger lots is you get a love letter from the fire department once a year and it says you need to clear your slope in the spring. So just something to keep in mind. Some people bring in goats, some people bring in gardeners, and some people do it themselves. But you gotta clear your slope. So one question I get is, where is Nelly Gale? In the big picture, Nelly Gale is in Laguna Hills, the city of Laguna Hills, and it's bordered by four major streets. Cabot, La Paz, Oso, and Moulton are your four major streets that we're bordered by. People will oftentimes refer to different sides of Nelly Gale. One side of Nelly Gale is between Oso and La Paz, and the other side is on the other side of Oso, which is where our clubhouse is. And people oftentimes say they're on the clubhouse side of Nelly Gale. And from here, you're close to the beach, you're close to the mountains, you're about halfway between LA and San Diego. So it's a great central location. Great place to live, work, and play. So how many homes are in Nelly Gale? Well, there's 1,407 home sites on 1,400 acres. So on average, about an acre per house, now minus parks and streets and things like that. But you have a lot more space than a lot of places. True. Some are custom, some are not. Right. So there are a couple of builders that built a majority of the homes. Presley built being the number one builder, they built almost 800 homes. They had almost 25 different floor plans and then different configurations. Smallest one being 1,780 square feet. William Lyon built the biggest ones back in the 2004 timeframe, and that was in the Altamira track. Those range from about 4,600 to about 5,800 square feet. John Upton built 17 homes down off Rapid Falls and Sundowner. And then you have custom homes that are mixed throughout the neighborhood. And those can range over 10,000 square feet. One of the things you'll notice over time is people have remodeled, they've added on, they've improved. So it'll be hard to find two homes that look exactly alike. So whatever you're looking for in a home, there's a chance that we're going to have it here in Nelly Gale. From single stories, two stories, three stories, there's even a basement or two. So Nelly Gale started building in the 70s and today you'll still actually see some people taking homes all the way down and putting brand new ones up. So you can say it's still under construction in 2022. A little fun fact or not so fun fact, my parents bought a home here on Buckboard, a brand new home in the 70s. And before we moved in, it was a whole bunch of dirt and land and um, you know, co contractors were around, new build sites. Uh, they went in and they put uh, blinds in all of the house. And we went home to where we lived in Long Beach and when we came back three weeks later, we had gotten new blinds and a new refrigerator that was delivered. So lo and behold, we walk in the house and it's 1978, I believe. And we're very excited to see our new refrigerator and there's nobody out here in Laguna Hills. It's pitch black in the night. And we walk in and go around the corner to our kitchen to see our new refrigerator. And guess what? Because no one was around, somebody came in and stole our refrigerator and stole our blinds. 
So we had to start all over again. So that's our little introduction to Nellie Gale in the 70s when nobody was here. Kind of a funny fun fact why somebody would steal your blinds, but they did. <laughs> Come check us out. It's been great ever since. People always want to know when they're moving into a community, what does it provide and what is the association about? In Nellie Gale, we are not an HOA. We're actually a NGOA. Yes otherwise known as the Nellie Gale Owners Association. And we are the best in town. Got a lot of neat things here, including the clubhouse, which has a bar in construction and a pro shop for the tennis center. Tennis center originally had 12 championship courts. Some of those have been transformed into pickleball courts right now. So much fun. There's tennis teams. Everybody's over there playing now on pickleball as well. Um, at the same location where the tennis center is, we have a swimming pool and we have our very own Nellie Gale swim club. The Gators. That's right. The team is headed by Felipe, who was on the Olympic team. His daughter most recently was also on the Olympic team for swimming. Yay, go Nellie Gale. We have so much fun here, so much to do. We get our very own newsletter, or actually it's a magazine, every month telling us what's going on in our association. Let's see, like here's equestrian news. This was for last month. And it's really nice to get. It's called the Pony Express. In addition, at that same community center, you do have the equestrian center just down the hill, right past the sand volleyball. You've got riding rings, stables. You can store your horse there if you don't have a barn at your house. And the nice thing is, actually, I personally don't ride horses, but I love to see horses. So every time I go in and out of my community, I see the horses. And it's just really relaxing, a beautiful scenery. Of course, we have to drive very slowly and we're very alert about our horses here in Nellie Gale, but we have such a love for them, whether you wanna ride them or just look at them and be in awe of the beauty of the horses. So it's a great center, lots to do there, but there's more, we'll tell you about that in a minute. Well, we'll tell you this, one thing is for sure, you're never ever gonna get bored in Nellie Gale. We like to have fun and we all like to have fun with each other. We have events like lined up, right? All, I can't even all year start. Long, but my favorite, the concerts, summer concert series. There's usually about yeah. six concerts in the summer every other week over at Gallup Park. It's a great event, time to meet neighbors, bring a picnic, sit down in the grass and just listen to music. Everybody that they bring is great. We go from fake Neil Diamond, we have the Beach Boys, like a Jimmy Buffett parrot head band. Every single concert Classic is- Classic rock, whole mix. And it's, it's a great fun thing that's been going on for years and years and years. And it honestly doesn't matter if you're two or 102 years old. Everybody comes, everybody has a good time. You can bring a taco with you. We've got food trucks that are there. It's really something everybody always looks forward to in the summer and just a good way to, you know, group text your friends in the neighborhood and say, tonight, concert in the park, let's go. See you there. So Nellie Gill does a lot of other things at Gallup Park. For example, her Easter egg hunts. So fun. Thousands of eggs are, are all spread over. Spread out. Um, they let the grass grow really long, so it's not as easy as it seems to, uh, or as it sounds to find eggs. That's right, um, the whistle goes off and all the little kids run. Oh, they're so cute and they're cute little dresses. And usually I have a bunny yeah. there for pictures. So that's one event at that park. Also, we'll usually do a winter wonderland at the park and have snow and train rides and carolers and maybe pictures with Santa. So, okay, for our people who are out of state looking at this, we are California. When you say we have snow. Oh, we have to bring the snow in just to be clear. Because we don't really go below 60 degrees or something. Yeah, full disclosure, it's, it's man-made so, snow. Yeah, it's man-made snow. That's fun. <laughs> That's for Christmas time. Also, just driving through the neighborhood at Christmas time, everybody really gets into the spirit. Our homes are beautiful. People put lights up. It's a spectacular place to really be at Christmas. There's a Christmas light contest and people go way overboard yeah. trying to and get that prize. So really worth seeing there. Halloween is a lot of fun in the neighborhood. Or horse -o -ween. That's right. So that's another event down in the equestrian center where you dress up your horse and have a little parade and there's pets on parade, things yep. like that. Um, in case if you don't have a horse, you might have a dog. There's some bunnies that come in and goats. I mean, everybody's got so many different animals here on the ranch at Nellie Gale. Yep. So that's um, a fun one. You might hear a rooster every now and then. 
Back to the clubhouse in October. We have Oktoberfest. So fun. Which is fun. And wine tasting, usually around uh, Valentine's Day. With a little bit of chocolate. Chocolate and uh, maybe a little bit of wine. The so Nellie Gill Owners Association really provides us with so much and so much fun. And we all get along in the neighborhood and it's just so easy to build the community of people that you wanna be with because you can group text those that you're friends with or those on the street and say, hey, again, tonight is concert in the park or you know, this weekend is the, the horse-a-ween or Santa is coming or whatever and you all go and have a great time and all ages. So much fun, come and join us. We'd love to introduce you to Nellie Gale. So you may be wondering, what does it cost to live in Nellie Gale and have all this fun? Good question. So in 2021, as a benchmark, the average sales price was 2.4 million. And prices range from the high ones up to about $8 million. So there's a pretty big range. And that's because we have custom homes and smaller homes. We have all different types of homes in the community. So and every now and then you have a tear down versus something that's been redone. Right. Another part of the cost of living here is our HOA is about $161 again in 2022. Our tax rate is pretty low, 1.03%. And we have no, no Melarus. So pretty low cost of living once yep. you get here. Yep. Something you should know. Come check it out. Okay, something that's always important is where are my kids gonna go to school? So if you choose the public school system, here in Nellie Gale, we're part of Saddleback Valley Unified School District. We actually border Capistrano Unified School District. We're right, like literally Nellie Gale is this close to Capistrano Unified School District. The differences between the two school districts uh, for Saddleback Valley Unified School District, our elementary schools go from kindergarten through sixth grade. In Capistrano Unified, they go through fifth grade. Yep. Our middle school is seventh grade and eighth grade. Capo is six, seven, and eight. And then of course, high school is high school. For us, we go to Valencia Elementary in Nellie Gill. La Paz Middle School, which is over in Mission Viejo. And then back to Laguna Hills for Laguna Hills High School. Valencia is a small school. Uh, it has the gate program, extremely involved parents. It's a wonderful school. Both of our children went there. I guess you could say they graduated from Valencia <laughs> Elementary. They also went to La Paz for seventh and eighth. And then our high school, our local high school, let's talk about that a little bit, Laguna Hills High School. So the school, again, is smaller than most of the other high schools in the area. It's about half the size, about 15, 1600 students, about 400 per class. It's a full IB program, International Baccalaureate, has the MUN program, honors, and all that good stuff. Right, it's got AP classes. So the kids that are going through that program, I mean, it's very common to see that they're getting into fantastic colleges, Harvard, Yale, Penn, Cal, Cal, UCLA, USC, Loyola Marymount. The school is producing fantastic kids going to fantastic colleges, and it's been a great experience. Both of our children graduated from there. We do know that people also like private schools and we have a plethora of private schools around Nellie Gale as well. Yep. So whichever you choose, there is something here for you and we'd love to talk to you about it. As you can see, we absolutely love Nellie Gale Ranch. There isn't anything I would ever change about our community, our lifestyle. We are so blessed to be here. We'd love to share it with you. So thanks for checking out the video. If you'd like to learn more about the area and other things going on, click on the like and subscribe button. If you wanna know more sp specifics about Nellie Gale or you wanna go look at the homes on the market, if you're thinking about selling and maybe it's time to downsize, give us a call. That's what we're here for. Our number's on the screen. And I'm Jim. And I'm Vicki. And, and we're, we're with the Bishop, Bishop team. team. We can't wait to share our great community with you. We know you'll love it as much as we do.